So we were never able to figure out why exactly people serve more in larger bowls than smaller ones. So in this more, most recent paper, we actually looked at that. And what we find is that people have a tendency to serve more food in larger bowls and plates than smaller ones because of the Del Buff illusion. Now, the Del Buff illusion is an illusion that was kind of documented first by um, Joseph Del Buff. He's a Belgian philosopher. Uh, and what he found was that the, the perceived size of a circle depends on the size of a circle that's surrounding it. The amount of food in both bowls is the same. However, most people would perceive this bowl to be containing more food than in that bowl. And that, of course, comes is, is a result of the size of the bowl. Now, imagine yourself taking this bowl and serving yourself food. Once you get to this particular point, I think a lot of people would think, that's not a whole lot of food, so let's add a little bit more, as a result of which you basically start serving yourself more food than you might normally want to eat. However, one way of dealing with this and kind of mitigating some of these effects may be to place, say, a white bowl on a white tablecloth. The effect, the contrasting effect of the bowl or plate on this background actually reduces. And so the amount of food actually now starts looking like a re relatively reasonable amount, and i.e. you're more likely to stop serving yourself quicker. So if you're at home and want to control your consumption a little bit, one recommendation we have is replace, if possible, replace your larger dinnerware with smaller dinnerware. Um, if that is not an option, one simple thing you could do is place your larger dinnerware on a background on a tablecloth that is low in contrast with the, with, uh, with the plate. So if you have a white plate, put it on a white, white tablecloth. If you have a black plate, then put it on a black tablecloth. Um, then if you know what you're going to eat, if you have that opportunity, one other thought could be is to take a plate that highly contrasts with the food that you're going to put into it. And that also is going to help you mitigate uh, the effects of the illusion a little bit. I mean, in the end, if you really want to control your consumption, it is the changes in the environment that are important. We have done some research that looked at uh, what is the effect of explaining people the Del Buff illusion. We would literally show people the Del Buff illusion with circles, explain what would happen in, the, in, in serving uh, yourself food, and then we would send them through the lab, and the same effects are cured. They're a little bit smaller, but the same effects are pure. And so telling people about these effects is not very effective. It's really you need to change your environment to really help reduce the consumption.